The Woman of the Balance is one of those supreme examples of Vermeer as an artist. Light coming in through the window is gently illuminates the whole interior. It's a sort of a soft, deep, rich light. But it's wonderful to watch it happen, wonderful to watch it evolve. And Vermeer gives you the sense of light spilling across the interior of that space. It passes by that orange curtain. You can see how the light goes from behind that curtain, hits the wall directly, the gray of the wall, and then it passes through the thickest part of the curtain, and it's a deep, dark shadow at that point. And then as it hits the edge of the curtain, it creates a golden glow that links together the gray of the wall and the, the deepest part of the shadow as it, as it comes into the room. And then the light passes down, illuminating the table, then the gold and the pearls on the table, coming across, caught by the edge of the table, and then your eye is drawn by her hand as it rests on the table, and you're brought back up to see her face, this wonderful, quiet, gentle face with her downcast eyes as she looks down at the balance as she holds in her hand. Light draws you in and encompasses the full scope of the paintings. It looks as though she will never move. It's in large part created by the gesture of the hand holding the balance because that hand is locked in space by being juxtaposed over the vertical and horizontal elements of the frame. The little finger is extended horizontally, it just holds that hand in space and then Vermeer reinforces that visual juxtaposition with a perspective. If you follow the perspective lines, go right back to that finger, that extended finger. The perspective of the table, of the mirror on the wall in front of her, all receded to that one point. So that vanishing point reinforces the importance of that gesture. And it's very interesting in Vermeer all the way through his career to see how he uses perspective, where he places the vanishing point, because the vanishing point tells us where he wants the eye to go. An explanation of everything making, uh, having a really serious part of the composition is in The Woman with the Balance. When I first examined that painting before the cleaning, the frame of the Last Judgment lying behind the woman was entirely black. In the X-radiograph, you could see the frame on the right side of the painting, behind the woman's head, had two light lines coming down. These light lines show that there was a density there, a dense material which could have been white lead or lead tin yellow. Further examination showed that this frame had been overpainted by somebody not by Vermeer, very much later, and that two gold lines, actually they were bright yellow, had been painted out and painted with a dark grey. When that overpaint was removed, the composition came to life because you've got on the right-hand side the two gold lines, you've got on the left-hand side the light coming in and the gold-yellow curtain, and right in the centre is the gold little bit of her dress. And there are these three very, very important points creating the strength of this composition with her holding the balance. Without the gold lines of the frame behind, the composition was just failing. It just didn't have the tension and the meaning that it now has. And that is a very good example of how every little thing in Vermeer's, every little point, every little mark has a meaning and has a purpose. Nothing is left to chance. Vermeer's masterwork, The Music Lesson, clearly shows that nothing is left to chance.